What a wonderful thing that we have. I thank God in every prayer of you. Making requests with, can you fill it in? Joy. What? Joy. Y'all help me. Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay, joy, thanksgiving. All right. And here's Paul. And you know where he is now? First time he was with the Philippians, where was he? He was in jail. <laughs> and not in very good shape. You know where he is now? He's in the Mamertine prison. This is one of his last epistles in here. Rome. Huh? In Rome. In, yeah, in Rome. <clears throat> Dark, dim, certainly not hospitable. Cold. And there he is. It's cold. All right. I mean, at least last night I had good blankets and I can wear some warm clothes. You're not going to get back there. And what's he talking about? Joy. And a lot of people lose their joy over circumstances far less than what Paul is going through. And you think his whole life, honestly, he's been beaten half to death most of the time. He's been in shipwrecks. He's constantly facing pressure. He has, he has the burdens that can literally rip a guy apart in ministry. In, in fact, let me just share a little something with you. When I read about other ministers, you know, I think I've got it made, but there are other ministers that I've read about, you know, and they're like, man, the things I've been through. You know, I realize that there are tough things you go through, but Paul went through tough things. That's part of ministry. Jesus said, take off your vacation and follow me. <laughs> he said, take up your what? Cross. cross. Is a cross fun? No, it's tough. I might be complaining, and look at these people. Look at Paul, because he's going through all of it. I thank God for every remembrance of you with joy. <clears throat> wow. There was a pastor here in Morgantown. I love this guy. Uh, he was in the nursing home by the time I got around to him, pretty much. I knew his sons. I knew his grandchildren. I personally work with his great-grandchildren to this day when I teach concert band. Wonderful family. And he always smiled. Wow. I know what a pastor goes through. I know what they've been through. I said, I want to turn out like you. <laughs> <laughs> 